Good morning. Welcome back to the show. James Rule XRP is in the house. I have a doctor's appointment this morning. We have our regional vice president showing up at my place of employment today. Woohoo. Yay. Ooh. But anyway, we're going to have fun. I made a quick video. Uh, there's some news articles, some comments, some posts that have been posted the last couple of days, and we're just going to go through it and we're going to have a good time. I'm a crypto teacher. I'm not a financial advisor. Follow me on X at rule XRP. None of this is financial advice. If you want to take a look at my sponsors and maybe learn more about me, click on my link tree below and click on a bunch of the tabs and learn about me and learn about some of my sponsors and tell them James Rule XRP sent you about. Let's take a look at these astronomical numbers or these numbers that are starting to turn green. Total market cap, $2.595 trillion. We've gained probably three to $400 billion in the crypto market here in the last couple of days. And that's a lot of money. And if we look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin actually breached its all-time high. Again, if we click on all-time high, we could see that Bitcoin hit $76,262 yesterday. Ethereum's all-time high is $4,864, November 10th, 2021. Current price is $2,808. Solana hit $259 on November the 6th, 2021. XRP hit an all-time high of $3.84. Look at this, people. January the 4th, 2018. It's currently right at around 55 cents. Wait until this thing blows up. Wait until Bitcoin gets to around, I say, 100, 125,000, 150,000. When that does occur, people, when Bitcoin breaches $100,000, everything underneath Bitcoin is called altcoins. And when you see a massive influx of money drive into Bitcoin, people are going to start taking some of those Bitcoin profits, I promise you, and they are going to start loading up on all of these different wonderful ecosystems. Do you realize the value of your portfolio here in the very near future, people? Do you realize it? Hoddle. 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 And if you're new, that means hold on for dear life. Katie P. Crypto PLS at Katie P. Crypto PLS. Got this out there. And this is absolutely hilarious. I said this post one X today. And she said, thank you very much. Here is the post. Here is the short video clip. Now, this was a photo taken of Gary Gensler at a uh, probably a congressional proceeding, and he looks like a deer in the freaking headlights. Well, look, look what uh, Katie did. Donald Trump, you are fired. Look at Gensler. Oh, no, I'm fired. Shit, but get left, Trump, you are fired. Oh. <laughs> Poor Gary. You know, Gary has been such a dick to crypto he's been such a dick to crypto companies here the past few years because the banks have been paying him off and he's been reaching in that cookie jar and grabbing cookies that he should not have grabbed the dick he's got to go he's got to go the latest coin telegraph crypto lawyer says that sec's mark Ueda has a high chance of becoming the next chair while crypto mom hester purse is unlikely to replace Gensler. I, I don't blame Hester Purse at all. She's been putting up with all this bullshit at the SEC for the past few years. She is on our side, but she's sick and tired of being sick and tired. Get Mark Ueda in there. And mentioning Mark Ueda, he was interviewed by Fox here a month or two ago, and he threw the SEC and Gary Gensler under the flipping bus. Check this out. Well, it's great to be here. What is the SEC doing regarding crypto? Well, I think our, our policies and our approach in the last several years have been just really a disaster for the whole industry. We have been sending this policy through enforcement. We've done nothing to provide guidance on it. And as a result, this is being shaped by the courts. And different courts have ruled different ways. I think what this Wells notice is, and while I won't comment on the specifics of this litigation, 
the Wells, uh, what has gone on is part of a broader frustration with the fact that we have not provided interpretive guidance as to what you can and cannot do. And if you are involved in some sort of t securities offering, how you register, how you get regulated as a broker dealer, how you get registered as an exchange. Absolutely. There has been no clear guidelines. The SEC has given Wells notices. The SEC has sued by regulation by enforcement. They have made up the rules as they go. And Gary Gensler has to go. Ellie Terrett. Ellie Terrett with Fox Business. She's a cool chick. She's a crypto XRP community blockchain chick that has learned a lot and gets it out there. And she reaches out to these government agencies. Check this out. New. I reached out to the SEC to ask whether Gary Gensler's plans to finish out the year as head of agency or step down ahead of real Donald Trump's inauguration in January. A spokesperson declined to comment. <laughs> Well, we cannot tell you about Gary Gensler. We don't know what's going to happen. And I put that little clip here. And Jeremy Hogan. We love Jeremy Hogan. LOL. Eleanor, you are vicious and awesome. Emily said, open to work. Gary Gensler. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ellie Terrett again. New Coinbase's CLO, Chief Legal Officer Paul Graywall, expects to see significant changes to the SEC's crypto caseload under the new Trump-appointed chair. Quote, I think the new administration will take a fresh look at all of the existing crypto cases brought by under Gary Gensler and distinguish between the one aimed at what are really clearly scams and fraud and the ones that are not, he told me. Graywall stopped short of saying he believed the cases against Coinbase and other under fire for alleged securities violations would be withdrawn, but seemed confident a change at the top and clear rules will warrant for a fresh pair of eyes. Good morning. 269 pro crypto candidates voted into House of Representatives and Senate in the United States via Stand With Crypto. This is the Daily Hodl article by Mayron Rocky. Thank you very much. It says that Coinbase Back Digital Asset Advocacy Group, that's a lot of words to spit out, Stand With Crypto, which I am a member of, says that over 250 pro-crypto candidates were voted into Congress. According to the nonprofit organization, last night's presidential election, which saw Donald Trump's defeat over President Kamala Harris, also included victories for 257 pro-candidates in the House and 16 in the Senate. And it kind of goes through and it breaks down who won and who lost. And unfortunately, I mean, we love John Deaton, but you know what? John Deaton put up a fucking fight against... Elizabeth Warren, the crypto witch, the anti-crypto witch, he put a big dent in her. He made her nervous, I guarantee you, because when we look at the numbers here in a second, you're going to see how much of an impact John Deaton had on that election. And, of course, Massachusetts is a blue state, along with all the other freaks up there in the, on the, east, uh, yeah, the upper east coast in the United States, the blue states. God love you all. God bless your heart. <laughs> here we go stand with crypto i'm not signed in because it shows my address my home address and all that so crypto election updates presidential race winner donald trump he is a a when it comes to crypto house of representatives 261 pro crypto candidates elected and 116 anti-crypto elected in the senate 17 pro 12 anti-crypto and here's a map it says when a state turns purple it means a pro crypto candidate has been elected follow along to see what states vote pro crypto hmm very interesting here look at all the purple baby here we go ohio bernie marino montana tim sheehy you got pennsylvania dave mccormick you got arizona ruben gallego you got massachusetts a fail for Elizabeth Warren. But look at this shit. John Deaton got 40.12%, 1.3 million votes. Elizabeth Warren got 59.5, 1.9. That was a close race. It's probably the most harm that has been done to Elizabeth Warren on the past several elections. Way to go, John Deaton. My hat's off to you. You kicked that ass and hang in there because we're all going to make it. You got Michigan. You got Nevada. 
You got Wisconsin, had a fail with Tammy Baldwin. You got Maryland, Colorado, Iowa, Oregon. And then if we look at other states, if we look at how much of an impact Texas has, well, Texas has 29 pro crypto candidates elected, seven enter in the Senate, one pro crypto candidate elected. Ted Cruz beat Colin Allred. Monica De La Cruz beat Michelle Vajayo. Henry Kuehler, Julie Johnson, Vincent Gonzalez. Congratulations to all the districts, all the teams, all the people that decided to get off their ass and vote for crypto. Because you know what? Coming up here in the very near future, you're going to say, oh my gosh, my portfolio has gone past the moon through the universe and you're going to be saying i did make that right decision brad garlinghouse ceo of ripple congratulations donald trump some fodder for your 100 day checklist to get things moving fire gensler on day one no delays right at the beginning of january in his place appoint christian carlo brian brooks or gallagher They'd be massive upgrades in rebuilding the future of law and reputation at the SEC. And I, I totally agree with Brian Brooks, who is former, formerly with the, I want to say, who was he with? Well, he was with the uh, comptroller's office. Brian Brooks is pro, pro, pro crypto. He would be a supreme candidate as commissioner of the SEC. Host a family dinner. And get the R's and D's moving the digital asset market structure bill forward in the Senate. And last but not least, can we get some clarity similar to XRP and Bitcoin that ETH is not a security, right? Hmm. Stu Adorati, General Counsel at Ripple. Thank you to both campaigns for hard fought race and invigorating the democratic process. Congratulations to Trump. You took the time to listen to Ripple's story when we met in San Francisco this summer. Hello, Ripple met with Donald Trump in San Francisco this summer, 2024. And you prioritize crypto as a key policy issue, people. Now let's move swiftly to end the regulation by enforcement approach we've endured in the recent years and position the United States as the crypto capital of the world. I got on Grok yesterday and I created this amazing image here. And I said, let's see President Trump wearing a number 47 shirt. And it put Donald Trump in a 47 jersey. Congratulations. And I feel bad for posting this. And at the same time, I don't feel bad for posting this. John Rich, Big and Rich, the band. Kamala lost so bad. FEMA just sent her a check for $750. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I tell you what, man, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. Um, I like getting the news out to you when it breaks. I love seeing this community excited. I like to get some laughter out there. And, and you know, it, we're all striving for the same thing. We're all trying to take care of our families. We're all trying to make these countries better places like the United States and, and get regulations so our future generations can benefit from what we have endured. Be sure to subscribe. Like, share my videos. My name is James Roy XRB, and don't forget, I told you so.